What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another modern cube draft. I'm trying to get as many cube drafts in as I can because once they're gone, they're gone. However, there is vintage cube coming up after this, so we shouldn't have to worry too much. Iron Shift Sammy, welcome back. Consecrated Sphinx in our pack. Iron Shift Sammy, welcome back. There's a Consecrated Sphinx in our pack. And then we got Solemn and Pilgrim's Eye, both of which uh, solid rampy gentlemen. Well, this is not a ramper, but it fixes. It's a fixer. Happy anniversary. Iron Chef Sammy, almost three years, buddy. That's crazy. I do like a Consecrated Sphinx. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to take Consecrated Sphinx. Oh, a Mind Control? I like Obliterator second pick, but I'm probably just going to go with a Mind Control here. I do like a Mind Stone, but it is colorless. doesn't help us fix anything. Nothing else in here is really standing out to me. I like Vanishing Light. Maybe it could be Blue White Chions. Have we done a random number generator stipulation? No, we have not. That sounds terrifying. I tend to avoid stipulations where you actually don't get to play the the draft. Like it's that just doesn't it doesn't sound super appealing because we're not actually in control of anything. Like I like where I'm like you have to take a creature for the third pick, and then I'm like okay, this is the third pick, so I have a bunch of options, but I can't take this or this. Like it's restrictive, but it gives me options, so I still feel like I have a choice in the draft. Whereas random number generator just doesn't, I have no, no control whatsoever. I just get to sit here. Everyone else gets to sit here. And then we probably get a pretty unplayable deck. So it's just like from, from beginning to end, the whole experience just doesn't sound like it's uh, great. I'm leaning towards Signet. I'm also leaning towards like Face Fetters or Heroes of Bladehold or some illusion. Hey. Josh, thank you so much. Really appreciate it, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. The oldest card by first printing. That is possible. However, I'm not thrilled about having to, like, remember or look up. Because, like, in here I'd be like, well, it could be Sunlance. Uh, yeah, it would be Sunlance. Or would it be Remand? Oh, God, I think it's Remand, actually. See, that's that would be that would be tricky. I've been watching videos on YouTube for a while, but this is the first time I didn't really catch live. Really? Watch Wolf with the sub is no less. Thank you so much, man. I'm glad you can catch live. Got a Geist of St. Draft. And a blink of an eye. Ooh, Tatiova. Hmm. Hmm. Hum. Actually, I actually have no idea what the pick is here. We could go white. Take a guy in trap. We could just take a sower, which is nice and safe. I think it is actually sower here. There's no reason to go into green and or white just because we have a smix signet when there's perfectly good blue cards here. I'm gonna take the sower, and I'm actually oh well that's a that's a good reason to go into the white here. Yeah, we're just taking Teferi. Frost Titan is a dude. Vraska Relic Seeker is a dudette. Uh, Fumigate's a thing. It's probably just Frost Titan here. I think we're just going to go Frost Titan here. Frost Titan wins games. Riftwing Cloud Skate is great. I also don't mind Condemn. Condemn is really nice. It's one of these two guys. Um, we don't still don't have to be white necessarily. I do like a Riftwing Cloud Skate. I do like a Condemn though. Condemn gets rid of anything. I'm gonna go with Condemn. I'm gonna. Pilgrim's Eye is good. Lingering Souls is good if we want to go three color. Threads is all right. Wall is all right. Actually, I don't hate Wall here. Actually, I kind of like Pilgrim's Eye even better. 
Yeah, I'm gonna take Pilgrim's Eye. Wow, Banishing Light? Alright. <clears throat> and Face Fetters came back. Looking good. I like Assemble the Legion, but I don't really want to be red here. We can just be two colors, and that's pretty okay. Sun Lance is nice. Yeah, I'll take a Sun Lance. Cloud oh, the Geist came back. I'll take a Geist over a Cloud Goat Ranger. Eh, I'll take Harbinger. Huh. What up, Janky Dice? I'm in a conundrum. I want to get a box of VMA from my LGS, but they said they can't do less than 320 after 300, which is 20 over market. I want to support the lowest store. But I, I have been there. I have been there as well. Uh, I know that situation. I've definitely erred on the side of not getting it from the LGS. Like, I understand their situation, but, like, it's hard to justify paying. Like, in the situation I was in, like, um, I wanted a bunch of cards. They were, they were mostly not great rares, like, kind of bulk rares, and, like, um, and like uncommons to complete play sets for uh, Rivals of Ixalan. And I was like, hey, uh, this goes for like $43 or like $34 or something on TCG low. So I could get it for 34 bucks. And I was like, you know what? If they can give me, if they can do 50 or less, I'll just buy it from them. I'll pay the extra 16, 20 bucks, whatever. Um, let me make sure I'm making a pick here. Orzhov Signet could be good. Let me have one of each Signet. So I was like, if you can do it for less than 50, I'm good. Like, that's totally fine. You know, and I went in, I went in thinking that. I didn't say it to him. And they were like, oh, we can do it for like $70. And I'm like, thank you. I can't. I can't justify spending twice as much just to, just to get them from you guys. Like, I just can't do it. I mean, I want to help you. I seriously do. And I would, I would even be willing, I'll pay $20 more on $35 worth of cards. That seems more than reasonable as a consumer. But asking me to pay double for cards that you're likely not even going to sell anyway just doesn't make sense you know like they're not super high they weren't super high cards at the time um i'm gonna take pact here i think it's probably better than signet evil monkey thank you so much for the resub welcome back really appreciate it knight's whisper gideon jura seems very good here probably better than tamio for sure i don't care about chromatic lantern or anafenza I would like some blue white lands though. That would be nice. I want to take the Gideon Jura. Like we're already pretty deep in white with a go oh boy. Hmm. Hmm. That is a thing. If I'm on a first name basis, though, I feel like that's even more of a reason not to like. I, I don't know. That, that, like, that, I feel like that works both ways, right? Like, I'm just asking for the price. I'm not even asking. For, I'm not even asking for the price that I can get it for somewhere else, right? I'm not even saying, hey, online, I can get it for, for this price. I'm saying like, uh, why no Thassa? I just don't think Thassa is that great. She doesn't do much unless she's turned on, and uh, I think it's probably the Soak Wrap or Condescend. I think it's actually Condescend. Yeah, I want to take Condescent. <clears throat> I don't think I want another five or six drop here. Our top end is pretty, pretty significant right now. Uh, I do like Spellcaller and Oblivion Ring. I like Oblivion Ring a little bit more because it's less, it's less, uh, I also like, I don't hate Lutero Core. What up, Forest? Yeah, I'll take I'll take Oblivion Ring. I feel like you're just never like I'm never like, oh no, I wish I didn't have as many of this effect. I like a Jace and I like a Vizier. I'm We've already have Sower and Mind Control, so I don't think we need another effect like this. I think we're just gonna take the planeswalker here. 
We already have we have Banishing Light and Oblivion Ring, which I'm fine with having both of. I'm not like, oh no, I have too many Oblivion Ring effects. Like it's it's pretty good. Uh, have we tried Dream Eater? He's pretty unimpressive. Cryptic Command is insane, but I really want the Fixing Land. Ugh. Like we're probably never gonna cast Cryptic Command without lands. I'm just gonna take the the land, and that's not a feeling I enjoy. Oh god, Seagate Oracle's nice. Torrential Gear Hulk, how good are you here? Not not great. We have Condemn, Pact, Remand. That's pretty much it. But it's like our only card in this pack that we'd even end up playing. I still take Torrential Gear Hulk, and we'll see if that's any good. Uh, Orzhov Signet comes back. I'll take that 100% of the time. Thassa is still not great here. Like, we might not even play Harbinger, and like, unless we have like one of these like there, there's it's unrealistic that we're gonna get five pips so that's is basically like hey i'll uh i'll make some guys unblockable and i'll scry for you i'm just like okay cool are these cards from the same no these are not this is uh this is a cube draft which means there's their cards from all over magic's history and uh you get to draft from them it's probably just chromatic lantern maybe nah it's gonna be hedron archive Wow, all three of the cards I was looking at came back. That's pretty insane. I like Silkrop because it does let us deal with early things. But I like Lyra better because she gains infinite life. I'm just going to take the Lyra here. Sausage? Did I say something like that? Oh, Looter came back. That's pretty nice. What did I say that sounded like sausage? I'm curious now. I also don't hate 2 on lifelink for 2. I think I think it will be this Wednesday. Uh, I think that's when the Ultimate Masters comes out. I think it's there for like a week and a half. Oh, what did we take? Knight of the Reliquary. I got distracted and did not take the card I wanted at all. That is unfortunate. Because I probably would have played either one of those cards if they were. Sphinx's Revelation. Ooh, baby. I like Kira, especially with Sower of Temptation and. Uh, I guess that's really the only card. Uh, Consecrated Sphinx, especially. That's really nice. But Kira will likely come back, and we can probably take something like Sphinx's Revelation here. Oh, it's made of the Moon Sausage. I gotcha. I gotcha. Uh, real life, it's definitely possible to do. I actually have Cuba, a Cuba built. Uh, you just take 360 cards, leave them up, and distribute them in packs of 15. It's harder than if you just take packs from regular sets, but I mean, possible and popular. Uh, I'll take Sphinx's Rev here. It's just too good. Uh, we could have Baneslayer and we can have Lyra. How good is Snapcaster? We have Sunlands, Condemn, Remand. Actually, I think Snapcaster is pretty good here. We don't have a huge amount to choose from, but it does let us play both of these again. I don't think we need an Izzet Signet, although I do like having Izzet Signet in case we get Felidar Guardian and then we get the combo. However, I think without that, Snapcaster is probably the, the solid choice. Uh, I actually like Reflecting Pool here a lot, <clears throat> especially because we have not many fixing lands. So if we have an island and a plains, this is automatically a... Oh, Azorius Signet will take the place of any of the existing signets quite easily. There was also an Essence Scatter in there, which would have been pretty decent. I don't I don't hate an Essence Scatter. I do like an Ashiok. <clears throat> yeah, I'll just take Ashiok here. <clears throat> I don't see us playing... Oh, uh, we can play Reflector Mage. It's, I think it's fine, but... Oh, Dissolve seems great. 
I like having at least one three mana counter spell here. We also have three cuts to make. Oh, do we get him? Do we just get him? Champion of Wits would be great if we had like Lingering Souls and then we can discard it and then cast it with our Orozov Signet. I'm going to take Simic Signet out. I'm going to take Geist out of the main deck. That feels better. I'm probably going to take Pact out as well. And we can do Spellskite, Champion, or Mana Tithe here. I do like Champion. I'll just take the Champion. I think it's got the most value. <sighs> Marsh Flats only gets planes for us, unfortunately. Yeah, our lands were not great this this draft, unfortunately. Dragonlord Ojitai, but I think we took everything we saw. I don't think we passed like a Glacial Fortress or a Hollowed Fountain or a Flooded Strand. I do like having a Wrath Effect. Do we need another big creature? We have Frost Titan, Consecrated Sphinx, Teferi, Gideon. Maybe we need one more. Could also just take Venser. Um, I think we're going to take the Wrath Effect. And the Kira did come back just as predicted, which is nice. <sighs> Field of Ruin and Evolving Wilds. Terminus I don't care about. Brawl's Expertise could be fine. We have a bunch of things that would benefit from having a Brawl's Expertise. I think that's fine. Oh, Day of Judgment. How nice. Also, Repeal. I'm not a huge Repeal fan in the cube, but... <clears throat> hmm. Also, in a Johnny. Yeah, I'll just take Repeal. I don't think we want a second Day of Judgment effect. Deccan Stone seems good. Glad that came back. Wow, Reflector Mage came back anyway. Two cuts to make. Harbinger of the Tides can probably go. I don't think it's a... I don't think it's great here. Maybe Sunlance can go. Yeah, that seems fine. We can board into a Sunlance if we want to. We can also bring in this Master Waves and this Harbinger and Icefall region. Like, go very heavy blue. Torrential Gear Hulk an option at that point. Oh, that is a late. I was going to say it's a, a late Revel Arc, but... I think this is our 23 and we can play Seek Chrome Reflecting Pool. And I'm glad we didn't take the Cryptic Command because this is just not a great situation for a Cryptic Command deck. We also don't have that much white. <clears throat> so I think it's actually 7-8. Um, still 10 sources. Actually, it's probably... This is 8-11, eight, eight, which I like that. That seems fine. Plus we have an Orzhov Signet, which is only... Sand seems fine. Signet into Dissolve or Sower of Temptation. It's okay with me. We're going to top deck a Remand. You guys ready? Oh, that is not a Remand at all. Thank you. Nick, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Two month anniversary. Really appreciate it. I uh, will take two from this little nerd. I'm actually tempted to steal this because then if we hit a land, we can actually play. Um, one, two, we can actually play Consecrated Sphinx next turn. This, is, this feels surprisingly aggressive, but I don't think there's much recourse in the mono green deck. If they have any blue or white cards, this also takes them off that color, which is nice. Now we're just hoping we hit a land. I talked to my star and letting me order for three. Wow, that was quick. Here comes Master of the Wild Hunt. Nope, just an Oracle. And you get a Hissing Quagmire, sure. Reach. Land. One time. Oh, we did it.
This seems good. Oof. Give me them creds. How many playmats do I have left over? Uh, I think I sold about half. I was actually surprised that they were as well received as they were. Ah, <sighs> yeah. They always have Vraska. It's kind of amazing. Never don't have it. So, we can actually Frost Titan, tap something down. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven mana here. They're going to draw a Chandler Initiate. Let's attack Vraska. We know one of their two cards is a Kodama's Reach. And we know they're drawing a Chandler Initiate. One, two, three, four, five. We can actually Teferi plus one. I like that. Let's us keep up. Well, actually, how much does Teferi take? Teferi can take one, two, three, four, five if they attack with everything. But we get to keep Dissolve up. Is that good enough, though? I almost like just having Frost Titan and being able to tap down something. One, two, three, activate, play Chandler Initiate. And the problem is it forces us to block with Noble Hierarch if we want it to survive. Which I think is fine. All right, we did it, boys. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> that was like the perfect draw. All right, so Forest off the top, Court of Calling. You might actually shuffle that away with your Kodama's Reach. We're just getting to a point where like, I don't feel like them having... Uh... <clears throat> I don't feel like them having uh, a, a Crater Hoof Behemoth and killing us with it. I am going to condemn the Oracle because I think it's stronger than... Just tef let Teferi take three here. That's not an issue. And they have Cord off the top. So we know they have Kodama's Reach and Chandler Initiate in hand. Oh, now they don't have Reach and they don't have Cord. Everything is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can definitely play Frost Titan here and then untap. Okay, well, one, two, three, four, five, six. Keep that quaggy tap down. I'm eating a salad. Great, is that crazy? I love a good salad. I'm just going to tap islands here. Chandler Initiate is known. I assume they got two forests. Yep, that is fine. Did you just put the counters on your Arbor Elf to make it 3 4? Nope, I guess not. I don't know. I don't know what your plan is, boy. Thanks for stopping the rain in the vault. Really? Everyone seemed to really like the rain. That's funny. It wasn't intentional. Like, it was just, uh, I haven't done it since. That's really sad. Uh, I kind of like this. It lets us draw two, whereas if we just put it on the bottom, we're only drawing one, so. So, one, two, three, four.
We'll keep the hissing quagmire tap down. It's taking eight here, huh? Play a land. This is where, like, having a celestial colony would be nice. Not like we can use it this turn, but. I mean, they have an 0 1 and a 1 1. They could crater hoof here. They have one card in hand. We don't know what it is. Crater Hoof just kills Gideon, though. Eh, Garrick is a good one. That's actually a good Garrick. But they can't draw anything here, and we just get to kill it. No. What? Wait, they drew one? I mean, I would have at least activated Hissing Quest. Oh, that's weird. Is this game over? <laughs> I just traded Garrick for... Yep. We'll tap this guy now so that they can't uh, block with it. Are they dead here? Yeah, they're just dead, right? Like we just attack for six and six and tap down your eyebrow. <coughs> All right. Now he's completely invisible. I just did not like it. Your voice is already soothing enough. Made it hard for me to focus on the magic. Interesting. People say I feel like I feel like people mention me having a soothing voice a good amount, which always surprises me. Cause I'm like, really, really, is that right? Tell me about my soothing voice. I don't know what to do. Sunland seems great here. That's an easy sideboardable. We can probably take out the remand. Deck and stone seems like it could be good, maybe. I don't know. If they have beast tokens, it's probably pretty great. Reflector Mage also seems nice. Um, did you get my emails? Didn't I respond to your emails, Sammy? Oh, about Commander? I did not. I did get that. I did get your Commander email. I got. That's just one email, though, right? Joke's on you. You can't sing smooth jazz because it's not a, a lyrical medium. Your voice is like angels singing. Wow. Well, then. This is, yeah, we'll bring in Wrath of God. Wrath of God definitely seems good here. I want to take out the Kira because they don't have many things to target. I think the only thing they had to target our guys is like Garrick. I think this is good like this. I've fallen asleep to live stream and YouTube vids. Yeah, that's that's actually nice to hear. That's good. Maybe that's why my views aren't as high as everyone else because everyone just falls asleep and they're like, I can't, I'm not tired right now. I don't wanna. Sounds good. Come on, Wrath of God. That's not a Wrath of God. Don't be rude, Magic Online. This is still a very good curve. Channel our initiate. Oh, a little fertile ground. Into channel our initiate. No. All right. I have... It's I have I also have a rampy thing. Appreciate you guys saying so. Glad you guys enjoy the voice. I can't really control it. It was just given to me. Rattleclaw Mystic on top. Well, biscuits. Plus the Jace. Doomfall. All right, well, no free, no free cards for you, buddy. That is pretty sad, though. We play Gideon, we plus Gideon. They get to cast Doomfall, so we need to have Rattleclaw Mystic in hand. That would be the Rattleclaw Mystic. I'm 
BDSM? I think you mean ASMR, but I appreciate it. Day of Judgment. Dang it. Well, butter my biscuits. So you're going to play Doomfall next turn, and you're going to take something. I think we actually Jace here, try to hit Wrath of God. Because uh, it shouldn't really matter when we're playing Gideon next turn. Really? On the bottom of the library? Dang. I'll just take the lands. Actually, do we just kill this? Because you can't actually kill Gideon. You can kill Jace, but we get to get rid of Oracle of Moldiah. One, two, three, four. I think that's actually pretty good. Because then you Doomfall. You kill Jace and you Doomfall like Sphinxes, right? But you can only take one of these two. Hmm. Make us drowsy. It's not right here. You're watching Frank. Watching Frank may result in Bobering or Scrobering. Wow, are those are those verbs now? To Bober and to Scrober? This is actually the decision tree right here. Like, if there's no land on top, it's actually great for us. I'm going to risk it. I think actually being able to keep Gideon alive for a turn and just hope there's no land on top. There was a land on top. So they play, yep, two lands on top. Sounds, sounds good. Meanwhile, like, so we just basically let them get two lands ahead. Like, otherwise they wouldn't have drawn the, either of those next turn. Yeah. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, that would not have been an option last turn. Jesus. <sighs> Significantly worse than if we just killed the Oracle of Moldiah. And they get to Doomfall us. Yeah, this is the most amazing turn they could have actually had. Of course, their, their two cards are like Doomfall, Garrick, Apex, Predator, Jesus. Well, this is a hell of a thing. So if we hit like an O-ring, it's going to be great. We hit literal nothing. Then they get to just play Garrick, kill our Seagate Oracle. This is brutal, man. I mean, we have an O-ring and a Banishing Light for this guy. This is so stupid. One, two, so we can draw four. They play a channeler initiate. Ultimate is next turn, so we really gotta do something here. I don't think we're condemning. We really wanna hit like Banishing Light and Wrath of God in the same cards. That would be just utterly insane. Yeah, play your forest. So we have a channeler initiate and one other card. Brag Tusk. Like you can see the utter amount of value that we've gotten. Sorry, initiate. Sure. Should we get Crater of Behemoth? <sighs> Never don't have it. We can Sphinx this for one here, try to hit a Dissolve. <laughs> oh, dear God. One time, dealer. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right, so let's see if, the, if we would have been like Banishing Light and Wrath of God if they didn't just happen to have Crater Hoof in their deck. Wow, there was a Dissolve. 
So would have drawn those four, and then we would have hit he drawn. So, yep, that's... It's funny how that entire game hinged on us actually dealing with Oracle of Moldiah. Anything would have been good against that? Reflector Mage doesn't seem great. Remand is okay. Yeah, Pact is probably pretty good. Like, if we don't have five mana up, it's just not... It's fine. Like, we can still cast it. Everything else seemed fine. Like, I think we're well positioned against them. I just don't think... I think they just happen to have Apex Predator into Relentless into... Uh, this hand is terrible. This hand is worse. Sure. Well, Pilgrim's Eye help us, helps us de-mulligan a little bit, I guess. We can get a planes. Why are we playing Remand? Because we boarded it out. Because it's not good against a deck that has infinite mana and one drops. So when they when they go play Garrick Relentless with nine mana up and then just replay it again, it's not great. Takeshi, thank you so much for the for the donate for the bone. Really appreciate it. I don't know what that says though. I'm gonna look it up right now. Yep. Hot dogs are sandwiches. Amazing. Wow. That's that's just beautiful. <laughs> I, I, God, I have no idea who that was, but I'm impressed. Your commitment is real. I'm tempted to just steal this Rattleclaw Mystic, which is clearly what it is. I'm going to do that. Because next turn it makes a quite a sizable Sphinx's Revelation. It also denies them quite a bit of mana as well. So now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 instead of... 7, 8. 6 instead of 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right. Yeah, that Planeswalker step was great. That's actually fine. It's not great, but it's it's manageable. How many? One, two. So we get three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can Sphinx this for five, and then hopefully... We have to kind of hit a... We don't really want to kill this because... And we're definitely going to block and then Sphinx is a relation here. Does he have Trample too? No. All right, cool. Oh, mind control seems real good. Oh, yes. Let's do that. Hmm. Terastodon. One, two, three. We, yep, that's pretty good. Now we have to play mind control first. How nice. 
Well, that's extremely obnoxious. something we're not terribly far behind if we can keep this they have three cards and i'm just afraid it's like garrick apex predator and vraska and oh my god i wonder what it's like to have it all the time it's actually it seems amazing like i wonder if that's a cool experience to just never not have it I mean, if we can draw a Wrath of God, that'd be... Oh, well, it's not even because we don't actually have double white here. I mean, we can kill the, the Garrick, which is nice, but... God. Like, Baloth into Terastodon into Garrick. It's just like, all right, well... I mean, I, I would like to draw a Day of Judgment or Wrath of God one time, but uh, not all of us are so lucky, it seems. Gideon Jura is better than land, I guess. One, two, three. We're actually going to kill you because you're actually one, two, three, four, five. You only have five mana now. It's not terrible. Jojo MK, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Congrats on the sub, baby. Oh, good. Garrick Relentless. To get to kill our sower, and now we have no answer for the Garrick. Seems good. Gideon does get to kill this guy next turn. We're actually not in terrible shape. Yeah, it feels like we kind of were, but I don't think we are. We're definitely behind here, but it's not the worst. I would love a way to kill this guy, but... Found a way to kill that guy, I guess. One, two, three. So we can actually play Jace and Banishing Light. Block, block. Jace would take... I think we're just going to actually activate Jace to try to hit things. I, I mean, I really just don't want you to start making beasts and also... Ooh. Ooh. Do you honestly enjoy the modern queue? I'm curious to find it a little unbalanced. Uh, I think it is. I think it's a little more unbalanced than usual. Uh, there are definitely some cards that just shouldn't be in here. They don't compete. Um, however, that being said, like it's still a cube and I still enjoy it. This is interesting that you would put it like this. I'm going to choose pile one here. And let's get rid of you. And if they alpha at Jace, we have some decent blocks where we can just go block, double block here, double block here, stuff like that, so. Me? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, Jace, 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 Jace. So Jace is going to die either way. Like we're not being able, we're not able to. Oh, we just didn't block at all. That's cool. I didn't realize we were in that phase. Well, now we're really looking for a wrath of God. Yep, that's not it. Wow, that was terrible. Five, six, we have eight mana. We can face fetters the Terastodon and play champion here. Five, six, seven, eight. We can actually play Signet. Let's play champion first. Uh, 
Okay. All right. Now we're talking. Sun Lance in the graveyard. Also, Sphinx's Rev in the graveyard. Uh, we're going to get rid of Signet and... We're going to play Fetters here. We can also just play Gideon here. Force everyone to attack Gideon. It actually seems pretty okay. Let's get rid of Signet and Frost Titan. So we have eight mana, so we can snap for two, one, two, three. So we can draw three off of Rev. Four if we hit a land. Like we're really just trying to stabilize until we can hit our things. Can we keep getting alive? We definitely can. Getting goes to one here, so it means we get to fade another attack. We also get to activate champion and draw two, which is nice. Wrath of God one time. Literal one time. Consecrated Sphinx. Oh, oh my god, I'm dying. Six, seven, eight. So we can actually play you discard a bunch. We could also Snapcaster for three. I mean, it might just be able to play Sphinx, but I mean, like, if our plan is to try to hit Wrath of God. Like, the three cards are better than the two cards. Oh my god, this game has been so brutal. I also really don't want Primeval Titan attacking again, but... What can you do? Six, seven, eight. Yeah, we're just going to pass here. Sure, last card to land. Plus you get Primeval Titan lands. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I think Garrick's dead here. Or Gideon, rather. <laughs> for some reason, like, the blue-white decks just haven't been performing for me. I don't know, maybe it's... There's nothing we can do here, right? No, there's nothing we can do. It's all I can do to keep me waiting for you. Draw three. So we're going to draw four cards. 25% of our deck is what we're drawing here. They have no cards in hand. So if we end up... Uh, we counter this? Now you're cracking clues. Sure. That was weird. Crack one clue in response. Resolve. Draw three. Crack a clue in response to that. All right, these are all weird choices, but it is what it is. Oh, thank God. Thank wrath of God. Plus six, seven, eight, nine. Ugh, it's sad because we can't actually do both of these things. I guess we can play Hedron Archive. And then play... Is it lucky? Is that luck? Hmm. I don't think that's luck. I mean, they do get to untap with three cards in hand. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. We actually go to, we go to two if they have, like... <sighs> if they want to dash hopes, I'll just take five. Yeah, sure, crack your last clue. You got it. I 
Yeah, Gristlebrand actually seems really out of place because there's no way to really take advantage of Gristlebrand in this cube. I mean, I don't think Crypt Gas is in here, which was a great way to actually... Oh, wow, you hit Fertile Ground and you hit Search from our and Land. You have one card left in your hand? Oh, you have no cards. This is great. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, yeah, we have, uh, we have reached the... Uh, the precipice <laughs> whatever that means Whew, this game is not this game was an emotional roller coaster all right so um we can go one two crack this and see what we hit um i still think actually what if they hit like crater huff right like five six seven eight nine ten I also have Champion of Wits in the graveyard. That's not terrible. Six, seven. And both of their Garricks that we've seen are in the graveyard. I think they still have the big Garrick. This is game three, right? Like, we beat them game one, right? I like this. I just want to be able to go back up to 15 so we don't die. I don't know if I want... I think we do want Consecrated Sphinx here. Yeah, this seems fine. And I like playing off the top, so I'm okay with it. Whip is a little scary, sure. Oh, Condemn is great. That's what we want. Oh, yeah, we're doing it. Oof. It's your boy. I don't actually know if we want to draw that many more cards. Um, I mean, we do. We do have to be able to beat them in uh, within eight cards. What's four times eight? 32. So we can do it. Oh, that's true. We can actually tuck... Teferi can tuck himself, which is pretty nice. That is actually gasoline. One, two, three, four. Big Tefs. Pay one more, because that's how that works. Oh, God. I really don't want to draw four, though, right? Like, that's kind of scary. I guess I could just play this guy and then not draw four, five, six, seven. Did I play a land here? Oh, that's nice. No, I'm good. Like we have a bunch of mana sources on board already, or a bunch of a bunch of things to a bunch of. I don't know what I'm saying right now. We're gonna draw two here though. Which is better than drawing four because it saves us two turns. And I do want to hit. I want. I want to have dissolve in hand. That's not a dissolve. It's still pretty good. And we do have Teferi in, so I'm, I'm okay with... Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. They're going to gain a lot of life here, though, which is pretty unfortunate, but... Ooh, both? Nope, that's not what we're doing. You're going here. And then you're going to go on the bottom. I mean, our clock is significantly advanced now. And they only have, like, no targets for any of our things. So 8, 16, 24, 32. That's a four-turn clock, and we have four cards. So 
We will no longer be drawing any cards from our deck. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Two of the four cards are lands, so... What are the other two, I wonder? Uh, I think no, one's not Akira. There's an Oblivion Ring and a Banishing Light here. Hmm. Two Signets are here. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16. No. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. So one is Pact, which we can easily pay for. So I think Pact and... What did I say the other card was? The Condescend? Yep, it is Condescend. All right, that's what we're going to stay at. We're not going to draw any more cards from... Okay. Yeah, just as long as we have three... Like, there's three counter spells in our deck. So we can pretty much counter everything that they play in the next three turns. Uh, that we don't care about because we can Oblivion Ring it. So we can still get in there for a bunch. Yeah, but Carnage Tyrant's not going to do anything against us, really. Oh god, don't accidentally hit yes, please. No. Mm, what do you got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So seven, eight. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. So we're going to make you pay all of it. Done. Uh, bottom and top. Oh, uh, we don't have reason to Teferi Tuck. Like, we're not losing here. Um, now I will Teferi Tuck because... Oh, we can also put something else on the bottom of our library as well. It doesn't have to actually be Teferi, so that's an interesting... And now we have two counter spells for anything you draw, which is pretty insane. God, please don't automatically hit it. Yes. Man, this game is pretty insane. <laughs> oh man <laughs> Lapouche Ali and Trazi ladies and gentlemen Ali and Trazi not that this is Ali and Trazi but Ali and Trazi would call me Frank Lapouche on the on the Freshly Brewed podcast which we actually posted today so if you guys have not checked it out feel free to check out the new episode it went up today you can check it out on Spotify uh, on Stitcher and on iTunes and just, if you just search for Freshly Brewed Podcast, it'll come up. So, those are the things. I don't think we're changing anything. I think our deck is actually pretty good here. I did want to. I was thinking about the Wrath that got on the main deck, but.
I'll keep the sand. Sand seems fine. We have some early stuff. Seagate Oracle. So I picked up some... I picked up three Arclight Phoenixes for 17 each, right? So 54. Is that right? No, that's not right. Is that right? 7, 18... 7, 20, 21... Interesting. I'm gonna try to figure out what's going on. It's free shipping though, right? I don't know what's going on. Hold on. I got a PayPal refund for fifty-four dollars. And I'm wondering why. Like I'm wondering if they just refunded me for those Yeah, because it's fifty-four, so I'm like, what? It was free shipping? I don't think it was free shipping. Or I think it was free shipping rather, so I don't know why I'd be paying for But I'm also wondering if they're like, I don't want to sell these to you, or if they're like It's real weird. Where do I play standard at? Nowhere right now. I mean, this is a local store. Like, I mean, it's funny because you wouldn't. Not like you, Sammy. It's not like you'd know where. If I was like, oh, I play at uh, either short stops or, uh, you know, like there's no. Yeah, that's fine. simulation why I don't even know what's going on right now I wish I had a counter spell here eh, that's fine I wonder if you're getting a land because I will be <laughs> or I won't be uh, that's probably going to be Pilgrim's Eye here Gideon Jura is a significantly stronger card, but a 5-drop is not what we're looking for. We don't have a 4th land. God, they got a lot of ramp things going on here. Um, I think we're just on an island. We can also... I like Face Fetterings the Hedron Archive. Well, it's mana abilities, right? Oh, that's no good. I like Banishing Lighting it, then. One, two. Yeah, let's do that. That feels safe. Spell pierce. Well, I guess they could I guess they could remand her mana leak as well. <laughs> Sounds like a waste of money then. Hey buddy. They're played in modern, buddy. <laughs> I feel like it's, I feel like I got a one sneeze per stream uh, quota. Yeah, the problem is I don't think it's going to get cheaper when it rotates. I think it's going to be harder to find when it rotates uh, and be a modern staple, which is usually when they go up. Uh, I'll block because if you like really want to like shock my guy, that's nah, fine. That's actually a good use of a murderous red cap. I do have, yeah, my streaming allergy is pretty OP right now. I want to play Pilgrim's Eye and then go get a, an island. And then I'll play the island. And then I'll pass the turn. They have two cards. Not bad. I think cutting off the Seedron Archive was a good choice. Look at this aggressive, look at this Motley crew. No blocks. I'll flip this guy's a power and a toughness. Is, is power It's equal to toughness? Sure, let it resolve. And I'll condemn your land.
Would you like to... Oh, you're going to flip it again. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. How about this guy? Is this guy resolving? Probably not a chance. Okay, high chance. Seems good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Unfortunately, they have seven mana, so like very few things are actually going to get condescended in this situation, unless they play two things. Got an email. Apologies for the cancellation. I sell magic cards for my young son so that he can fund his hobby. He thought he was done with these cards, but has had some second thoughts. Apologies again for the inconvenience. That's just obnoxious because, like, I get it. Um, it's just obnoxious because, like, oh, you're going to steal Teferi. I see. Because, like, now I have to find them again for a reasonable price, and... Uh... You're gonna tuck the Banishing Light. But so I get the Teferi back? So, like, the next cheapest is, like, 22 bucks now. I don't know if it like won the SCG or something this weekend. I bet it did. Three, four, five, six. Do I want to just take six here? God, one more mana and we can condemn and snapcaster, which is pretty nice. I think we want the blocker because I don't care about going to one or uh, I don't care about going to eleven when they have one card in hand. We can also Sower, one, two, three, four. I really want to hit a land here. One, two, three. Sower and Kira on board is pretty nice. That's not a land. How about another card? Is that gonna be a land? That's what we're talking about. So one, two, three, we can actually play Kira. And then we get to keep a bunch of things up, which is nice. Kira also blocks here. Pilgrim's Eye can block here. And then we get to keep two mana up for either Snapcaster and Condemn or Condescend. Three for 16.68. That's pretty good. I would do that. I just need three. It's just super obnoxious. Like, why you gotta be like this? Uh, resolve. <laughs> I'm like super bitter. Why do you have to do this? I was buying your cards and I had everything sorted out. Iron Chef Sammy, feel free to link me if that's, uh, if that's true. If you actually found three for 1668, that'd be gas. Actually, maybe I paid 18 for them. Maybe that's why it's 54. They might have been 18 each. So. All at the face? This is an aggressive, this is a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's get busy snapping. Put 
put you in your place. Block here, block here. Uh, I don't like this guy coming back because you get to easily shoot Kira. So let's double block here. And we'll take two. Because, like, the easy... If they hit Kira, it's pretty bad because then they get to... Uh, it's kind of like a free trade there. They could just play any spell on Kira and just kill her. And that ain't what we want to happen. Not to our little baby spirit. Glen Alendra Archmage. That is a good card. Hmm. Well, we can Sower of Temptation that. I'm a fan. However, if this dies, it does go back to their side. Note that they will get it back when you sack it. Yes, clearly. <laughs> that is correct. Not my first not my first persist rodeo. Uh well that's fine because you're not gonna be able to like I guess you could bounce Teferi. Yeah, that's obnoxious. one card in the hand that's great for us I think like face fetters on like murderous red cap or something is pretty sweet oh this is gonna go oh this is great oh that's so good uh consecrated sphinx one two three four five six seven eight um yeah put it on the bottom we'll just put this on top Oh, that's something. Hmm. Well, we can also just face fetters this guy and attack for a million. What is this? Four, five, six, we have seven mana. We could also just banishing light to this. Play Jace. I think we're going to do that. So this is like seven, uh, we can deal six and it's still even. Even Stevens. And they're in top deck mode and we have a Teferi, a Sphinx, and a Sphinx Revelation. And a faith. We have two ways to gain life here. Oh, they just, yeah, all right, that'll do. Iron Chef Sandwich, you, were you gonna were you gonna show me where you found six for three for 16, 68, or were you just, you just make that up? Just Sammy, did you lie? Were you a liar? Uh, they have a bunch of little nerds. Do I care about any of those things? If they have Murderous Red Cap, they have what's it called? That's an online price, right? 
Where are you looking? Oh, top tier board games? Oh, I see what you're I see. Good call. Good call. I don't know why I was looking at eBay. I could have just looked here, I guess. I don't think the I don't actually think that's accurate. Like once you click on the page, they're all they're all twenty four twenty four thirty eight. Like that's the lowest price one. Yeah, there's none for sixteen. That is way Yeah, I mean you can click on the, the the link, but it's they're not there. So, <sighs> Master Wave Seven Pro Red doesn't seem terrible, but we don't have a lot of permanents. I guess we, if we have Jason Sower, it's a bunch of nerds. Hmm. I think we're probably okay like this. Uh, yeah, this hand seems fine. What was the game where we mulliganed to five? Was that last game? I think that was last game, actually. Because wasn't Pilgrim's Eye, like, our way to, uh, to unmulligan? I get the Hedron Archive next turn, and then we, maybe we get the Teferi into Dissolve? That seems gas. It was last game, right? Not last match. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven mana next turn. That's brutal. So they have a bunch of lands. One. We could just actually keep this up. I don't think that's great though, right? No way this resolves. Oh, we could have just waited. Yeah, that's bad. That feels bad. We made mistakes were made. I could, we should just waited. Like they have four mana up. Teferi is so huge. And then they get to resolve it. All right, well, that's not terrible. Erk, thank you so much for the sub. Four months in a row. Really appreciate it, buddy. Oh, that's huge. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're just gonna We're just gonna rip that for a million. Could have played it on their turn, but like they have five mana up. I'll just dissolve something. Or I won't. See how many counter spells you have. We didn't actually see that many. Is it possible to just there we go? Um bum 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 five. Yeah, let's see what happens. God, we can't resolve anything this game. I didn't see a dis oh, wait. Oh wait, this could be very good. Oh boy. We did it, boys. We did it. What up, Daddy Cube? Oh boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. So we want to keep up three. So we have six to work with here. We could go Signet into Mind Control. And we played a land so we can Pilgrim's Eye next turn to make sure we hit our land drop. I don't want to take this, but like, if you got to, you got to think about it, like, we're going to have to take this before we take anything else. Then we can just pass here. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. We have ten mana. That's a lot. I mean, Riftwing Cloudscape is set. You're going to roast your own. That's a two for one. Draws us a card, draws us a card, filters some cards. Seems good. We can Pilgrim Side to hit a land and then 
just throw it away with the champion of wits. <sighs> Let's do that. Let's get rid of all these. One, two. Champion of wits. Uh, where are we going? We're going to play Pilgrim's Eye first. One, two, three. Planes. Yep. And discard land and land. Play a land. Oh, I think we just pass here. We can keep up Condemn and Dissolve. That seems fine. Yep, that's... That's something I care about. Whoop, that's something I care about too. All right, feeling good. I mean, I feel like if they had a counter spell, they would have let Jace resolve. So. We're going to go one, two, three. We're going to play Kira first uh, to avoid any sort of uh, not not counter spell like removal shenanigans, and I'll play consecrated sphinx. Again, I can't imagine you have a counter spell if you let uh, if you let us counter Jace. Oh, are you just gonna kill us now? Well, that's unfortunate. That would be quite comical. I'm going to let you do it because I have blockers and I have a condemn. I don't usually do it, but uh, this time I'm going to let you. So, I mean, like, if you, if you miscount, if you don't make enough guys, I definitely can still be fine here. streamer having someone play it out is pretty low. I mean, like, yeah, it usually is. I agree with you. I agree with you. But, I mean, like, like I said, like, I, if I didn't have four guys and, and a, and a, an interactive component, I mean, it'd be a different story. So uh, two person, eight, 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 ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-three, twenty-four. Yeah, I think they're good. Five, six, seven, eight, ten. Is there any way we can like? No, I guess not. Yep. Cool. We got it. Oh, all right. Definitely bringing that in now. Uh, 
that's probably the only thing we care about. Uh, repeal could actually be good too. Wow, that game felt way within our control up until the point where it did not. Hmm. Man. <sighs> Splinter Twin's a hell of a thing. Actually, I like Harbinger, too, because you can bounce the Kiki Jiki. I'll take Mind Control out. I don't think it's super great here. The worst thing happened this day, my, tur my turtle Jean-Baptiste vanished, even though I told my cousin Hank to watch him while I was at PetSmart checking out the ladies. Anyway, I asked my cousin what he had for lunch yesterday, and he said, hey, roast beef on a hard roll. Wow. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Well, that's incredible. That is incredible. Of course, we get the like perfect like the nuts game. Yeah, of course we're gonna have to mulligan the five here. Yep. Well, just like last time, I assume this Seagate Oracle will unmulligan us, but I don't love it. Last game was great up until the point where they just had Kiki Jiki and we didn't actually expect because we haven't seen it. Yes, one two three show pony. I am I'm very familiar with who you are. Zarya's so taking her face fetters. We have four lands here. I'm going to go with Signet here because I think being able to play Frost Titan is pretty nuts. Like you do. I like turtles. Oh, good times. Oh, this could be all right, actually. Spellskite. Sure. Well, that's not a land, as you can imagine. This is great because they can go bounce your sower <laughs> and they can redirect to spell sky and then they just get their spell sky back. Yeah, that seems fine, I guess. doing that I guess you got it chase the mind sculptor that is a real card. Phyrexian Metamorph? I 
I really don't want to skip my next turn. They copy Sower and then they steal. Meh. So meh. I'm so... I'm just so meh. Blink, targeting is Zorgas Signet, and choose target, blue. There you go, you get your spell sky back and I get to kill your Jace. I mean, I have spell sky on board, it's weird that you would do that. You look fresh because they're at 2.20 a.m. I mean, it's not 2.20 here, though. It's only 8.20 here. Yeah, Phyrexian Metamorph does not target, so you cannot actually... That's obnoxious, but I think it's ultimately fine. Unfortunately, we don't get to hit this guy. We just get to hit the stupid spell skite. What zone? Eastern. Eastern zone. Get in the zone. So next time we can go land. Uh, Pilgrim's Eye for a land. Have four up to play Harbinger at instant speed. I don't think we're dead, but we're probably dead. Yep, that's pretty good. Yep, that's a real thing that you're doing with your deck. Just tap all the things? Jesus, that thing is brutal, man. You are American? Uh, wait, is this, what is this a joke? I can't tell if you're trolling me right now. The problem is if they go to copy Kikijiki. Yeah, I think we're still pretty dead. Now, between the time you order the pizza and the time the pizza is delivered is the longest unit of time. Oh, also we can play this and they bounce this guy. Yeah, that's pretty, uh, actually we can't do anything here. Yep. Yep. Just literally didn't see uh, Kiki Jiki Splinters win game two. Uh, another draft? Probably not after this. Probably gonna eat some food after this. Alright, let's see what happens here. I don't like this hand at all, but I'll keep it. This is awkward.
Don't be more lands. I accept. Anafenza, sure. I'm actually going to banishing like this Anafenza because it's just going to make future creatures larger, which I don't really feel like dealing with. Yeah, so we're going to bring in that one card. I think it's called... Uh, Wrath of God. Alright, so they can't activate Stirring Wildwood. That's pretty good. So they can't flip their Kithian, which is reasonable. I don't want this guy to connect. And next turn we can steal something. We're just gonna... See, Bacon, I agree with pizza, however, is... Muy bueno. Permission to ban Daddy Q. <laughs> oh, Lord. So, 3 4, getting him to go to 4. That's not great. That's not, that's not great. I don't want to steal a Golem token. 3 4 5 6. Like, we could just make them all attack Gideon, but then Kithian does flip, which is problematic. We could also just steal a Kithian. <laughs> Take four. I think I just want to steal this. Would have rather stolen this. That seems like a better card. I don't know if you guys knew that. Consecrated Sphinx. Uh, well, wrong Sphinx, but I, uh, I do appreciate the. This guy flips. No, I guess we just block, but then they do a thing. Uh, they can also go land, crack two clues, make this guy a four. None of these things are ideal. Yeah, like, this guy on turn 5, like, yeah, it's not... I don't know. Hmm. And yeah, we had this guy last turn. I think my plays are a turn off. Like, like we wanted to mind control this guy, you know? But, it's whatever, I don't know. All right, so everybody you got two clues. Uh, three, four, five. We, if you block here, you just make them indestructible. What does he actually do? Target creature gains indestructible, sure. Up to one creature remote controls attacks, sure. I guess we're just eating this. This is fine because it's going to 
comprise a lot of your turn. Have tacos delivered? I mean, even if I had tacos delivered, I'm still not going to eat on stream. And I definitely wouldn't order from Taco Bell. None of those things sound good. This is not a good suggestion, Josh. Adonto Vanguard. All right. Well, we have a lot of things we can do here. Making Gideon a dude doesn't really make much sense here because they just block with their indestructible guy. So we're just going to actually pass here. And we'll keep up Condescend and Sphinx's Rev. Drawing four could be good, especially if we hit the, uh, you know, that one card. Uh, Sower of Temptation. Target creature, sure. I'm probably just going to block here. Unless if they attack, well, I guess they have to attack with both, so. Well, that means Gideon is dead. So, is there a point to block? No, not really. God, Tireless Tracker is such a beating. Why have you stopped doing... I never, I never did them. That's why. Oh, God. One, two, three, four... I don't think I want you to have these. Oh, Snapcaster and Consecrated Sphinx? Oh, let's keep both on top. On top. On top. They can also activate during Wildwood, so attacking the Gideon is not a great idea here. Crack that clue. Oh, crack it. Also, we played this pre-combat because if they want to crack the clue, if they do it in response so we don't draw the cards, then they can't actually block with this so we get a free attack. So they have to decide what's more important, attacking or, or, or preserving Gideon or... Um, letting us draw two, so. I'm pretty sure these two activations of Consecrated Sphinx have uh, broken us even on the Tireless Tracker card draw, so I think we're in good shape. That's also pretty good. Show Pony, have a good afternoon, buddy. Or night, whatever time it may be. Bye, Turtle Guy. Yep, just going to keep on drawing. You're just going to fill my grip. I'm okay with it. Yep. I think that's probably where we're going to draw the line. Draw the line. <laughs> but I think they're digging for an answer to Consecrated Sphinx because it's, it's pretty remarkable. It's a remarkable creature. What a remarkable specimen. Oh, now they're like, well, i got to get in there with Gideon now because good lord. 
I'm actually tempted to double block here. Will they have something? I don't know. Will we get rid of a tireless tracker? Maybe. Let's go. I mean, I feel like we just drew six cards off Consecrated Sphinx. If we can trade for a 7-6 Tireless Tracker, I think that's probably a good a good deal. Plus, we get to keep one of these dudes alive. So, yeah, sure. That's my trade. We also have Sphinx's Rev, Snapcaster, and Sower. So, if we don't actually make the trade here, we can steal it. I don't think I ever promised you a bathroom cam. That was never a promise that I made whatsoever. So, sure. Yeah, well, that's something, isn't it? Hmm. Let's play you. One, two, three, four, six, seven. We have eight mana. So this is five. I'm just going to steal Avacyn here because she seems good. And we get to keep up Snap Gideon. Snap Condemn. I don't know why I said Snap Gideon there. That's not a thing. If the angel flips, it's it's uh, when it it doesn't exile itself, so it just transforms. So yeah, it would be our side. So hang your stockings and prayers and prayers, cause Santa Claus comes tonight. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Snappy Claus Lane. Dun, 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 Snappy's in the doing all the things. Cast and condemn from our graveyard, getting rid of this pain in the ass. Snappy Claus comes tonight. Dun, dun, dun. Here comes Snappy Claus, here comes. This is a good song. Uh, it would kill the sower. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we're trying to avoid that. I guess then we go Teferi and then tuck it. Like, we have answers. It's not like we have nothing to do in that situation. Oh, this attacks Gideon, if able. Oh, and then you got Stirring Wildwood. Thalia. Well. I see. How do we get around this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. I 
Actually, we can tuck the Gideon. Oh, I like that a lot. Let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have four left over. Which leaves us with two. So if we go one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, five, and we have still have two left over. Um, I think we're just gonna play Teferi here. Tuck the kit the Gideon himself. Yeah, that seems good. And I don't think we're Sphinx's revelationing here, so we might as well play Seagate Oracle. Comes in to play tapped, don't forget. Yeah, I'll take an island. <laughs> Solid choice. Uh, nope, definitely not attacking with you because reasons. Remorseful Cleric. Don't really care about that. Although now you can double block, but we don't have to attack. We have no incentive to attack here. Well, that's pretty good. <laughs> Let's draw a card. Champion of Shits. We can probably get rid of Hedron Archive here. Actually, we'll probably get rid of Orzov Signet and a Plains. Tap too. Here comes Santa Claus. Here comes Santa. Why do I have to say here comes Santa Claus? Oh, because it's Christmas, I guess. I guess that's the obvious reason. Oh, no attacks, huh? All right. Well, that was an uneventful turn. Let's draw a card from Tef. It's not, it's not bad. Attack, attack, they could block here, block here, take a thousand. I'd like to hit a dissolve here. I don't think we actually, I think we can actually risk it. Frost Titan seems good. Easy pile two. This first strike is really actually problematic, otherwise we're gonna be attacking with pretty much everything else. Instead we're just gonna attack with Archangel Avison. I don't think we're playing Frost Titan here. I think we're just gonna rev nah, we can play Frost Titan, I guess. This does not strike me as a Wrath of God deck, but, you know, I've been mistaken before. Resto? Collected Company? Fascinating. Revoker seems good. And Kithian, as we as we knew. Teferi no longer an option. I guess we have to use our Oblivion Ring now. Man, this is another game that's like kinda ridiculous. This game just never ends.
Bobby Miser, what's going on? Unfortunately, you're catching us at the tail end of this this draft. Is this still game one from yesterday? Yeah. Interestingly enough, though, I did not stream yesterday, so I don't know what game you're referring to, my friend. Oh, how fascinating. Well, I can't deal with that, so... Sower of Temptation? Sower of Temptation? Steal back your Amazon? Yep, so of temptation. Gaining Frost Titan. Seems good. I mean, we're going to just steal your... We're going to just exile that dude. Alternatively, we could actually... No, then we tuck our Teferi, though. Then we lose our Teferi, so... And they still get it back at some point. Yep, we're getting rid of this for sure. Mm, we got Gollum, you, you, and you. Oh, if any of these guys dies, though, then Avison flips. God, there's a lot of things to keep, to keep track of in this game. gonna pass here like if we block like if, if, if any of those guys kill our like if the like if snapcaster mage dies for example then we just lose our archangel avison will flip become a six five she will kill literally everything on the board they could make both of this guy and their kithian indestructible But then they get a 6-5. And we don't actually have that many answers. I guess this guy dies and we can Teferi the 6-5. I uh, want to play Hedron because we're going to Sphinx's Revelation here. But also because the game's over. Um, Sunlance seems great against the aggro deck. Wrath of God seems pretty good. We can take a Hedron Archive. Lyra seems pretty strong. Probably stronger than mind control. Like I don't think I care about your guys. I'd rather just have bigger guys of my own. Scott B, what's going on, buddy? <laughs> oh man, one two three zero 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 one two three. That's a hell of a name, dude. That is a hell of a name. I sent you a message on Facebook. You never responded. I don't think. Uh, Harbinger of Time's any good? I don't know. Reflector Mage probably pretty good here. Uh, a champion can probably get cut. I think I probably like it like this. Thanks for being great, easy listening while I said, "Hey, listen, you're welcome." Also, the reason uh, it's funny those uh, the Arclight Phoenixes that were canceled in the order, apparently they they got first and there were four Arclight Phoenixes in in the first and second place deck. Actually, I guess they're in top eight now. I don't know. No, Ross Miriam won. So it's in it first and second place decks were, were both Arclight Phoenix decks, which is pretty hilarious. Oh, I canceled the sale because the two decks won. Cool. Thanks. So now I have to pay like $4 more per Phoenix. So I have to pay an extra $12 because they just didn't want to sell it. Yeah, that's cool. 
mean, I could have just bought them from someone else that day and uh, not had to worry about the four dollar bump per per Phoenix. But here we are. That was a good draw. I'm actually tempted to just run a Snapcaster Mage out there and block Anafenza or. Yeah, I think we're definitely doing that. Yeah, this is nice because it lets us kill the Anafenza. Show that first strike, right? All right, cool. Oh, Sunlance? Oh, God, I'm stupid. I totally forgot it's mono white because no one pays attention to that. Come on. Come on. I want to bounce this because it has a token, but, like, we can block this. We can't block this guy. Does it matter? Yeah, it matters. Because we can also steal this next turn, which is nice. Ah, Sunlance. What a piece of garbage. That's sad. I made myself sad. The Cascade Constructed on Arena? I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's a 4-3 now. Okay. Well, that's a thing. Well, I'm just going to steal this. And now we have next turn Lyra, which is probably pretty insane against them. First spell each turn has Cascade? Oh my god. That seems insane. Man, they're really playing around with the digital the digital space there. I like it. It's commendable. Stop copying my Sower of Temptation. Although, to be fair, huh. The fact that we have a Lyra here is pretty good, and they didn't copy the Lyra. And we know they have Selfless Spirits, so. I'm okay with all the things. Oh, that's even good, too. This guy can't block anything, really. Not profitably anyway, so we're just going to attack with it. And then we're just going to play a Lyra, and I hope the one card in your hand doesn't actually do anything. Because uh, stealing my Sower doesn't actually do anything. Sower, you gain control of it as long as it's on the battlefield, not as long as you control it. So that's not really a thing. I mean, then they'd have a 2-2 two -two and a 2-2 two -two rather than a 2-2 two -two and a 4-3. Of course they have. Conclave Tribunal. Two cards in hand. Conclave Tribunal is one of them. Sounds good. They can only attack with these two, right? Like, I can't imagine they... Okay. Well, that's fine. Banishing Light. Oblivion Ring. Seagate Oracle, not the worst. Kira. All right. We have to condemn this guy. So if that's our plan, might as well just play Orzhov's Signet. 
We have no blockers here, so. So we're not dead. Go to three. <laughs> Come on, dude. Oh, for real? Jesus. Our curve was perfect. If they didn't have Conclave Tribunal or Hero of Blade Hold as like the last card in their hand always. Oh, God. So we have three blockers. We can go block, block, block. Maybe they stack incorrectly. And then we have one turn. Uh, do you think they messed up a send? No, because it's hard to get. So, like, you want a reward for it. Plus, it, you, you get so blown out in combat or other things if, like, you actually... Um, if you actually could lose it in the middle of combat. Oh, they're three twos. Yep, that's cool. Magic's a fun game. Skill game. It's obnoxious. It's real obnoxious. Maybe we want repeal instead of like condescend. Yeah, probably. I don't even like remand here. I'd rather just have deck and stone. I had Oblivion Ring, Banishing Light, and Face Fetters. They could have all dealt with their Conclave Tribunal. Sunlands out! Oh, God. Oh, my God. It's going to be an opening hand. I'm going to keep it. Like, they've had, they've had like, been able to copy our guys every turn. It's fine. I'm going to manage. <laughs> it's so bad, dude. Oh, I can't. It's just too late. I haven't eaten today. Come on. Magic's hard. Uh, uh, I'm actually just going to bounce this Kithian. Let's take two and then we can bounce it so they don't have it on board this turn. Let's get another white. This is a nice, this is a nice little block here. If they go Frexian Metamorph, copy Sower of Temptation, Sunlance, buddy. Sunlance. This is how we do it, guys. We're gonna make magic happen. Literally. Well, probably gonna steal that now. I'm okay with it. Uh, I don't want to deal one to take two. That's not ideal. Metamorph. Metamorph me. I want you to metamorph. <sighs> Dang it. That's obnoxious. I was tempted to play, Kira, to, to play Kira first, but... They still don't have great... Yeah, it's actually a fine turn.
God, this Sun Lance is embarrassing, dude. So are all these lands we're drawing, to be fair. Hmm. Let's just pass. I mean, we can do a lot of things if we get Sphinx's Revelation, if we get Consecrated Sphinx, if we get Teferi, if we get Jace. Like, we have a lot of options here. Uh, we just have to actually draw those cards. That seems better. I don't think we actually care about the cure here. I'd rather just get this guy off the board. Seems fine. Come on, Wrath of God. Frost Titan's not terrible. And they have no card. They have no cards in hand. So, boy, for a, for a deck with a, a face fetters, a uh, banishing light, and an oblivion ring, we sure don't draw them very frequently. Whereas they have Con Conclave Tribunal almost every game. So, guess that is a thing. Okay, that's nice. Three, four, five. Yeah, I just want to keep one of these guys tapped. No blocks. Are we dead? We don't block here. Three, four, five, six, seven. No, we're not dead. We go to, we go to seven. Drawing four is pretty relevant, though. This guy's problematic. Hilarious. Just hilarious. It's just a matter of, like, you don't play Sunlance enough. And it's not really in cubes. Like, I don't think there's any any other Magic Online cube that has had Sunlance in it. So I'm just like, oh, three mana white. Three, or three damage white spell. That just can't hit white guys. All right, well, that's the thing, I guess. They also have four minutes to win this game? All right, well, that's a thing. You pulling an LSV? How? Oh, because settle. Nice. Yeah, I'm just going to take five here. <laughs> this is actually pretty funny. Jace is actually pretty effective. Seagate Oracle, not terrible either. So, plus Jace. Actually, let's get all the mana we can, I guess. So we're going to go Signet, Land, Seagate Oracle. Reflector Mage, obviously better than Island. I'm gonna tap Thanks. this guy down. I'll take three in the air. McNissa, thank you so much. I really appreciate the sub. Welcome back. Just go to 10, we have two blockers. So our ground is covered. Three in the air is fine. This guy's a two three, so we can easily block that. All at us, huh? All right. 
They have three cards in hand, though? God, that's like a million. We just drew four cards, and we still have fewer cards. I don't understand. One, two, three. Uh, let's be smart. Let me use this guy. Okay. What's going on? That was a little scary. Bounce this guy. Plus you. Uh, six. Seven. Keep a flyer tap down. We can block the two ground guys. They're at three. We're not dead. Actually, it'd probably be better if you bounce this guy and tap the precinct captain, maybe? But there's only two in the air, so I'm not terrified of it. They could have Avacyn. Like, if they ever have Avacyn, we're just probably dead. This is comical. What a match. Thank you. Scott, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Welcome, welcome. I see. That is frightening. This is basically just a mulligan that has been taunting us the entire game, so that's kind of cool. I think we're just blocking these tomorrow now because <laughs> I don't want to die. Can they actually attack with everything? That's it's aggressive. So what, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if we actually block these tomorrow, we take four instead. And then we can tap one of your guys down. Tap this guy down. You block here. You're not dead. I want to block here because you can't pay the life, right? So you just lose this guy. It's just a trade. And I get to activate Jason. Like if I have any, um, like any good card off of Jace's. Oh, buddy boy. Let's see if that does it. Play correctly. Play land. One, two, three, four. And then we can tap the floaty boy. Let's see if this does what we need it to do. You can't you can't afford an Avison. Good games with the Sun Lance in hand. Did you have the settle? No, if I had settle, I would have used the last turn for sure. Not even close. Let's get them. Hot <laughs> sun lance in hand. Still got there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch, Patreon, and MeUndies.com slash Frank Laporte. You'll get 15% off and you'll get free shipping and free returns. So pretty sweet deal. If you guys are looking for that kind of thing anyway, you can definitely check out my affiliate link in the description below. And uh, it benefits us both. You get something. You support the stream. Everybody wins. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. You guys have been great. I will see you next time.